All right, today we're talking about how you can compare two columns in Excel, specifically when you're trying to look for matches or differences within those two columns. So if you work with Excel, odds are at some point you're going to need to be able to compare two separate columns, right? It's, it's super useful to know how to do this. Um, so in this example today, we have two sets of data, all right? We just have some random names and data in this first column and then uh, a bunch of random names in this this second column, right? So obviously this isn't a ton of data and it's it's easy to manually be like, oh, well these two match. Um, Jerry, Terry, let's see if that matches. Oh, that's right there. But that's kind of manual. When you have larger data sets, that's not as realistic. So um, let's, I'm gonna show you kind of two different ways how you can kind of compare these two columns for matches or for differences. So essentially finding duplicates in each column and finding values that don't show up in the other column, okay? So first thing you can do, and this is kind of the easiest way, is you can do it with conditional formatting. So you can select the data that you're trying to compare. So we're comparing these two columns, right? You can go to Home, Conditional Formatting, go under Highlight Cell Rules, and then Duplicate Values. You can go ahead and click that, and what that's gonna do is bring up this little pop-up menu. And right now, it's highlighting all the duplicates, so everything that matches within the two columns, right? So John Anderson, Jerry Terry, Sam Mountain, and Heather Camp are what match to column two. And you can see that vice versa. John Anderson, John Anderson, Jerry Terry, Jerry Terry, Sam Mount, Sam Mount, Heather Camp, Heather Camp, right? And so everything that's not highlighted is not a match. So that's currently finding all of the duplicates, all of the matches. But let's say we wanted to find anything that's unique or doesn't match when comparing these two columns. You can go then and hit this drop down and you can select unique. And that's gonna highlight everything that doesn't match within those two columns. And then you would just hit okay and it would leave those highlighted. But we're just gonna cancel that so then we have our original data here. But say you wanted to use a formula to figure out which, which ones matched and which didn't, all right? So the formula that you're gonna use is you're gonna do equals and you're just gonna use a VLOOKUP formula. So when using a formula in this way, when you have two data sets, you want to select the first value in the data set that is the largest, all right? So in that case, this is data one. There's more names here than there are in data two. So then the table array we're going to look for is just everything in the second column or the second data set. And we're going to want to go ahead and lock that by clicking F4, which just puts a dollar sign in front. And then comma, the column index we're going to want to display is just one. So basically we want it to display this if it's found. And then the range lookup, we're looking for an exact match, so that'll just be false. And we'll go ahead and hit enter. And then that's going to display if John Anderson is found in this data set, it will display John Anderson. So then we can double click this and that will go all the way down and then for every name that matches, it will display that name that's found in the second data set. And if it, re if it returns NA, that just means that it's not found so, or there's no match. So then, that, then what you could do when you're comparing this data, you could, you could throw a filter on here and then you could see, well, hey, I wanna know everything that matches and you'll just hit okay and it will display all the names that match or I don't actually, I want to know which names don't match so we'll unselect everything and just have NA selected and that will bring up every name that isn't matched here. All right and that's basically all there is to it. Those are kind of the two different ways that you can compare two columns in Excel to find matches or differences. Um, you can either, those two methods are kind of the simplest using conditional formatting or just using the VLOOKUP formula if that's kind of what you're looking for. Thank you so much for watching and please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe before you leave for more videos on Excel. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.